Hello everybody and welcome to Marcy Fine Art and in these strange times I just wanted to show you how you can create a piece of art with just what you have at home. So on the left here I have a very famous Degas painting. I don't have access to anything else magazines right now so I'm going to show you that and on the right here I have a piece of cardboard. So I'm going to be moving this cardboard more in the center as I go along here. Um, also, the tools, I want you to see what I'm using today. I'm using a marker, just a black marker. I'm also going to use some uh, Bic uh, cover it fluid or white out. I also have a little bit of house paint. I might use that and I have some colored pencils. My colored pencils are pretty much like crayons, so if that works for you, you could try those. Um, nothing fancy. So let's see what we can pull off with what I call just what we have around the house. So let's first take a look at what we have here. And as I mentioned in some of my last videos, I look at four, four, <laughs> four different things. When I look at this, I'm going to look for a shape. So I'm going to be looking at this shape first. Then I look for darks and lights. Those are the most essential pieces of my uh, any of my art compositions are the darks and the lights, and they're very obvious here. Um, then I'm going to be looking at areas of interest. So actually today for this piece, let's just do those three things. Shapes, darks and lights, and some simple, very simple areas of interest. So let's get going and see what we can do with just what we have around the house. Nothing fancy, no oil paints, nothing. So let's see if I can arrange this so you can see what I'm doing. Might have to move this a little bit out of my way here. I'm going to have to move this because it's not going to fit into what I want you to see. So I'm going to just show you what I'm drawing on this cardboard and then I will put that picture back up in front of you as we go along because it's more important that you see what I'm doing. So again, here's our piece of cardboard. I'm going to draw the shape with this marker, just what I see here. I'm not going to worry if it's right because that's why I have my white. White is the most essential um, tool that I always use. So I always have some kind of white. Again, I've got house paint here, correction fluid. We're going to see how that works for me. So. I kind of see this. I think this comes over a little bit. So those are my basic shapes from this painting. I'm going to show you this painting again, which looks like this. Famous Degas painting. Now let's see what I can pull off here with just correction fluid and um, to start with. I'm looking for more shapes, so I'm going to look for the white at the top. There goes the correction fluid, folks. Never tried this. So this, you and I are on this journey of weirdness together. Um, brush is not exactly that exciting. If you've got another brush, go for it. Not too bad. So there's also this. I'm even going to get more creative because I do this all the time. I'm going to use my house paint. I have a little bit of house paint. And I'm going to use a finger because I'm a little bit more coverage. 
You see, I really don't care what's happening. I'm much more free for all here. I'm going to stop looking at this camera because it's distracting me. All right. Good enough. I want to make sure these shapes are working right. I'm going back to this marker. So I'm going to fill, fill that shape in, and I am just sketching anything here. My first um, task is to really make sure all the shapes are on this page. So I want to just do it real quick. I want to show you how to do something quick and easy with what you have at home. Pretty wacky. But just watch me go through this and you will see me go back and forth from darks and lights to shapes to colors, to areas of interest, over and over until I make something emerge out of this piece of cardboard, marker, etc. So, okay. Now I know that there's a shape here. I'm just going to just draw it in. And I know there's a shape here as well. So I'm just putting some basic stuff here. Also, I see a shape here near her head, and she's got a collar. It's a lot of it just seeing and trusting what you see. I'm not, if you notice, I haven't named anything. I'm not going to, there's her dress or anything like that. Um, I'm really looking at these shapes. I hope you can see this entire piece in here. So. I know, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a colored pencil. I have an orange colored pencil. There's a lot of orange in this. Let me show you again. We're looking at this. It's a very famous painting. So whatever you've got around the house there, I, don't, I just happen to have my art book. So I'm filling it in. I do layering. My technique is not quote, super duper technique. There's also orange back here. So I'm coming down here. So all this is very orange. Again, I got a piece of cardboard going. There's orange right there. So um, we got that orange colored pencil, black marker, white out. Now what I do, I'm going to stop, I stop, and I look at what I'm doing and say, okay, is this, am I off anywhere? And immediately as I look at this, I'm seeing this format of this picture, you can see, is it just a slight bit more narrow? That means, oh, it might not work just right the way I have it. So I'm going to adjust some things. I think... This will actually come down. You notice how I'm really not real worried about anything at this point. We're just layering things without being concerned about much. And I'm going to think that picture might even stop right there. And just because this whiteout is so terribly annoying, I'm going to get a very small brush to put some paint on. Um, so if you have a craft brush, there. So I'm back now. I have a little bit of a, maybe a paintbrush from your garage. So I'm going to do this. 
You see how I'm smearing everything? Go for it. Go for it. Today we're a famous painter and they don't care. And you see how that white smears right into that colored pencil? This is part of uh, what I do. So I'm doing the house paint gig here. And uh, so here's what I have so far on this piece of cardboard. So there I have that. Let me show you the picture again. So it looks like this. Trust yourself. Trust yourself um, and trust your eyes. Again, it's not fancy paints. What you're doing, it's your eyes. Look at the shapes. Look at the darks and the lights. Look at the spaces between things. So let's go back again. Now I would say to myself, hmm, I'm going to concentrate on this. Um, much of this is very intuitive for me, and I would like it to eventually be that way for you. Um, to know, because that's how I taught myself that I could do this. It wasn't, I didn't take 500 classes. I just did it over a very long period of time. And um, now I'm going to get out a brown colored pencil. Um, this one's kind of purple. We'll go for it. See, I'm not, again, I'm not real concerned about much of anything here. Sometimes it can be very interesting what you come up with. What I am going to be concerned with over and over and over again are darks and lights. I'm going to put that purple in here too. Now, just because I concentrate on the head a lot, because that's where people are going to look, they're going to look at that face and head. I'm going to try to get, get those little shapes correct. So, I'm seeing this. So, if you mess it up, remember, you've got white. I want you to always think it's okay to change it as many times as you need to. So there, there's her face to me, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead here and I see something back this way. And here, and here, it goes like this. So I st I'm starting to see a figure sitting here. And I see this actually comes a little bit here. I keep, uh, again, it's that correcting, correcting, and you can do this when you're layering. Just feel free to keep correcting. And this comes over like this. Most of what he has here is super dark, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is something actually I've always wanted to do to show you it isn't the tools. It is never the tools of the artist. It is what you see and just trusting yourself to go back again and again and make mistakes until you find what you're looking for. I'm going to talk to you about what's called negative space. Positive space would be this figure. It's one thing. Negative space would be the openings behind it. So what, what you're doing for is looking at the shapes that are both positive coming towards you and negative. So this whole thing here is positive. It's, it's the strong part. 
over here there's a shape that also kind of pops out a bit. And here, see we've got a window kind of emerging. I, I never, when I do this, I don't call anything what it is because there's two parts of your brain and one uses words and the other, other one is more attuned to what you see. And by not naming anything, I will be thinking more about the shapes I see than trying to say, oh, there's the window or there's her nose. I try to let all that go and concentrate on the shapes and the darks and the lights. I know I've said that 50 times. So um, 51 now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do, there's a white, a lot of white he put up here. I'm gonna do that. Um, again, we're looking at lights and darks, which are very extreme in this, on this nice, fabulous piece of cardboard that I have. And here, today we're being Degas, and I don't know if this is his mother, I'd have to take a look. Now here, this is, this part, this little shape here is, I'm going to say it, I would never say it to myself, this is her hand, and I'm going to put that little shape, and I don't think of it, oh there's your hand, I think there's a shape here. Where is that shape compared to that shape? And I see there's something here. And he also has one over here. So now we're this far into this. And he's also doing a little bit of this here. And these are kind of blotted out. And if I go over anything and can't see it, I'll go back and pick it up again. And I can tell looking at this that he used these big brushes here. He wasn't uh, using anything really refined. His strokes were very big. So, can you see this person kind of trying to emerge here with these darks and lights? My setup is brand new, so it's not the best. Um, but giving this one a shot. There's a little bit of a lighter orange tint that he's put here. So I am going to use this orange colored pencil and I'm coloring right over that to get that kind of feeling he has. Once again, I'm just layering and looking at what he's done. And what he's indicating is, is where the light is hitting her. Um, and it's also down here on her collar. And over here where I'm gonna do her hand, but I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. I wanna blur that out a little bit. It doesn't have anything really clear. And I'm gonna do this too just to give it an indication of, you know, he was a pretty blurry guy, so I'm gonna, as far as how he did it. And I'm showing you, I want you to know you can do this with what you've got around the house. Again, I'm gonna look for my brown colored pencil, if I've even got one here. Ah, uh, that's looking black, I don't need that. Here. I think I've got a brown somewhere. There's a brown. A little bit darker. Brown essentially, in simple terms, is me looking for a darker color of orange, which comes up here. And I'm going to do this. And he indicates, I'm back to the whiteout, he indicates that she has a bit of a collar. 
I'm going to use this white out for that collar. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but again, I can't tell you you can do it if I can't figure it out. So <laughs> white out is a fascinating little thing. But again, it's about what you see, not about what you're using. Now I'm going to use my marker again because that's just a little bit much. Again, you see I'm looking a lot at darks and lights. Um, she's got something going on here. And he's really pushing this darker stuff here. I'm having trouble too because I've got it really on the floor next to me. But let's see if we can indicate just a little bit more what's happening in her face and eyes. I'm going to over and color this back in again. Anytime I feel like I don't like what I'm seeing, I will just go right over it again. And this I don't like. I'm looking right at that. And this comes down further. So I want to go back to this orange colored pencil. I don't know, what do you think? Is she there yet? Is she coming there yet? She's, I'm seeing her a tad here. This is darker, I cannot find anything dark enough. I'm gonna use black. Darks and lights are before colors. So it's shapes, darks and lights, colors. And I will use whatever I can to get myself to the dark I'm looking for. It's pretty dark and there's a darker now I'm looking again at the darks on this and I'm going to show it to you in a second there's a little bit more of dark here um, I'm going to use this colored pencil which isn't working really well I'm going to go back to that orange and then I'm going to use my white out again 